What's up everyone, the Panda Photographer here, and it's springtime, and you as a photographer should be outside right now doing some beautiful micro photography or some nature photos. So, what does the Panda Photographer use when he has to absolutely get the micro photos that he needs? What kind of gear is required? Now, take this with a grain of salt. Some photographers may vary, some are minimum when it comes down to not bringing so much gear. But the one important factor is a good steady tripod. So with that said, I am using the Manfrotto 190 Go tripod, as you can see. You guys are on a selfie stick right now, so I do apologize. I'm, I'm in the library, so I wanted to, to document this because this is my dream setup for micro photography. So, Here's my setup. So I do have a small rigs seven inch mechanical arm just in case I wanna mount on let's say flash or let's say a small monitor or any other device that may, may vary for micro photography. But here we are, this is the setup. So I wanna show you guys this beautiful setup here and I'm using the Endora Q08 Pro Fluid Ball Head. So it does, if I loosen this up, it does swivel, as you can see. It does swivel quite nicely and smoothly. So I do have it on tight. So when I have the pan shot, all I do is make some micro adjustments like this. And what I do is hold the tripod with one arm and make small little, let me just loosen this up just a little bit more. Give smooth hand shots just like this. But here's the kicker. On top of this uh, fluid ball head is the micro rail. So this is a, I think it's a 10 inch micro rail. Yeah, 10 inch micro rail in both directions. So. What that means is with the combination of this fluid head, I can also do, do this, do portrait shots, horizontal shots. So I don't have to make adjustments on the ball head at all. All I have to do is make adjustments. Well, all I have to do is just loosen this up to make those slight small adjustments based on my shot. And I can micro focus with the rail system or I can use the other rail system to f flow up or down which is ideal now keep in mind if I would you if you see the thumbnail the thumbnail has the irix 150 micro lines it has a tripod a tri a tripod collar mount which is perfect because a lens like that needs a tripod a tripod collar mount and it fits right nicely on top of the base of this micro rail system now i had this micro rail system for about two years now and i don't use it quite a, a bit but when i do use it come on focus seems a little bit out of focus there oh youtube when i do use it the tripod collar mount for the micro lens or telephoto lenses this comes in handy and when you're micro, doing micro photography and you don't have the shot that you need and, or you're too close, you can make micro adjustments on the fly. So if you need to get a little closer, you can. Or if you need to pan to the right, you can if you choose to. Now, keep in mind, the tripod also, the Manfrotto 190 Go, is so important because I add weights to it just in case I have to add weights when there's a windy condition. Now, if you look at my Instagram today, I just posted a photo of me doing some micro photography with the Yi M1 4K mirrorless camera. When it comes to the iOS performance, it kind of does the opposite of what I wanted to do. So, with that said, I use ND field. First of all, I use polarizers, I use ND filters, and sometimes I use flash. Now, keep in mind the camera here, which let me show you. This camera here uses a Godox Nikon trigger. So I don't have a Nikon 
trigger. So I had to use natural light. So and the way I go about capturing nature or microphotography is I go out doing golden hour. I never go out doing high noon, never at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, because the sun is too harsh. Now, I can use diffusers, like a small six-inch diffuser, and hover over the sun towards my, say, like some roses or some daisies. I can use that diffuser to uh, soften the light, which is another tip that I recommend. Now, it's small diffuser, which you can buy on Amazon. I leave the links down in the description below. But this is my ultimate micro rail setup here. And basically, it has a fluid head, which is consistent and smooth. It also has a pen. If I want to do horizontal or landscape, I can do that on the fly and tighten this up. And I can make micro adjustments by using the micro rail system, going back and, fo and forward or left or right. And the best part about it is that when I am using this setup, I am not, it's not heavy at all. This is like what, five, six pounds, which is not too bad. It's not too shabby, but it is really ideal. And I think it's more efficient for all of you guys who can go out there and buy. Now, the tripod is the most expensive part of this setup because this is a $179 tripod. But this was about $45, $50 US. The, the flu head was about $25. So, and the mechanical arm is based on, just in case you do want to mount flash and you want to set the flash up in the angle at the lowest, po lowest power settings possible. So what I would technically do is, let me loosen this up. And pull this in, take this off, take this whole piece off actually, and mount the flash on that and have it at the lowest power possible. I don't want to overpower the flash, but like I said, you can use, if you're going to do any nature or micro photography at high noon, between times of like 10.30 and three o'clock, you want to bring a soft diffuser, like, a, like what we use for portraits, a soft, small diffuser to cover over your, your subject, or bring a flash to overpower the sun it is possible to overpower some, especially with nature photography, because it's not the same. It's almost the same as portrait photography, but the thing, the one thing is different is that you're closer to your subject when you do micro photography. So therefore, he, that's why I say lowest power sentence possible. 120, what was it? One to 50 of a second on the flash. Mine's go down to what? One to eight of a second power? I, I gotta check the Godox, because both Godox have different outputs on power, so. Because I got T600s, and I got the, uh, the V860 Mark II, so. But anyways, this is my ultimate micro rail setup. And I think it's more than ideal. I'll leave the links to all this stuff down below after I finish with this live stream. I just wanna make a quick live stream before I, I exit this uh, study room because I was in here for three hours, I was trying to figure out, can I get the Godox flash to work in triggers with my Yi M1, but technically it's not made for, for the Sony version, but it's made for the Nikon version, but I really wanted to use flash, but I use natural light today. So check out my Instagram at the Panda Photographer. I post a few photos, and if you saw the thumbnail that was all taken this morning, and it was actually really cold this morning. So we're going to have really cold mornings, but really warm afternoons. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think it looks cool? I think it looks amazing. The setup is really nice. It's practical. And it's one-hand operation. Basically, it's one-hand operation. Like, boom. It's like, oh, yeah, I could do that. Oh, one hand. Boom. Like, lock in. And it's stiff. So it's not moving anywhere. It's really stiff. Like the joints, so stiff. Like more than ideal for me. 
So I really, really like this setup. And this is what I carry with me all the time. So, and yes, I have a lot of gear with me and I got to carry it every single day as a travel photographer that is traveling and has these conflicts and trying to make money. Thanks to YouTube, I'm not able to do that because YouTube has been busted for filtering people's channels. Because if you guys haven't seen my other last video, how YouTube like dip my views and dip my revenue, it's proof that YouTube doesn't want you to see the content. But with that said, everyone, this is a micro setup. I think it's really nice. And by the way, I forgot to mention this. Everything... It's on an arc switch plate, so I can take it off. Easy, very easy. Take it off, put it back on. Just in case I have another camera that has an arc uh, switch plate, I can, because yes, this is arc switch plate ball head. So it's actually a fluid head. Now, it's a ball head fluid head. That's what Endure titled this, uh, this photography gadget, but and it's nice pan, so I can do a nice pan shot too. Really nice, smooth, and I can tighten it. And it really works really well. So I don't know about as you can see from all angles, like how cool it looks, because it got that nice opening. And not only that, it's Android, as you can see there. I'm not sure you guys can see, but yeah, it's a really nice setup, and I really do like it. And it worked really well today when I was doing microphotography this morning because I needed to keep myself warm because I was outside, like, it was cold. It was 34 degrees in height and the temperatures has been dipping, but yeah. And, but yeah, that's just me talking about my ultimate micro setup. So if you guys do like it, let me know down in the comments down below. I know I babbled for like 12 minutes on this, but you guys, there's so many things you can do with this thing and it's amazing. And the best part is that this cushion up here is really nice for the collar tripod mount. So therefore I can like put the collar tripod mount. If you have a micro lens that has a tripod, tripod collar mount, it's easy to take off the, the camera, put another camera on it and you're good to go. It takes seconds. So this is why I really enjoy having this set up here because it works really well. But depending on photographer, if you guys want to support what I do as a photographer and want to help me out, there's a PayPal donation link down in the description below. It really does, and it really does help me out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, other than that, you can subscribe, like, share the content. And if you want to go to my website at 646studios.com, I have tutorials on photography, and everything else and how to protect your work as a photographer and support creators and photographers rights and I just posted that on Instagram recently because a lot of people have been committing crimes from using other people's work without their consent and that takes a lot of a lot of work for us to fight back and we don't financially have the money to do such a thing but you know if we stick together we can fight back from these online predators we call them so anyway with that said, eat, sleep, photography, videography, repeat, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. You guys take care. Happy shooting.